know what would convince FERC if everything that we've already heard in person in these meetings or in the comments, I would already convince them. I, I would like to try a different tack. You've heard about solar power. There's a plan by Professor Mark Z. Jacobson out of Stanford that spells out how to power each and every state, especially Florida, with sun, wind, and water power and nothing else in about 30 years. And that means everything, including automobiles, trucks, and to do the more obvious stuff of replacing power for electricity, less than 10 years. You may recall your former FERC chair, John Wellinghoff, predicted that very thing in 2013. Funny how suddenly there was some conflict of interest that was alleged and he had to resign. But his prediction so far was too conservative because it depended on the amount of solar power deployed doubling every two years in the U.S. It's going faster than that. Just a little north of you, the state of Georgia is now the fastest growing solar market in the U.S. That's a huge change from just two years ago. I could detail how a bunch of activists, starting with Georgia Sierra Club and the Tea Party, have a lot to do with that. Things can change very, very rapidly. George Power is now building solar power farms left and right. Just across this state line in Decatur County, Georgia, they're building 100 megawatts of solar power. They're going to have a gigawatt deployed in about another year. Florida has more sunshine than Georgia. Surprise. There is no excuse for this pipeline. And um, someone said FERC doesn't do LNG ex export. Actually, they do. They approved an LNG export station in uh, Maryland not so long ago, which would feed off the same Transco pipeline that Safe Trail would feed from. They're in the process of a, a permit application for, an El for El Island LNG export near Savannah. They also have, they didn't tell you about any of this? In North Florida, Cater Morgan, one of the few pipeline companies, even larger than Spectre Energy, has applied to FERC for a pipeline to go from Sewanee County across North Florida to Jacksonville. It, the application explicitly says Sable Trail can connect to it. That will be Jacksonville, which is gearing up for LNG export with the assistance of, for example, the famous oil man T. Boone Pickens. The same guy who said in an interview that you know, the, the people who have exploited the, gotten the shale out of the ground, uh, the, the products out of the ground, for example, the Marcellus shale you heard about earlier, they've invested and they're entitled to their profit by exporting. What does that mean about your title to your land? Feeling significant yet? But you don't have to because Williams Company, the owner of Transco, they plan to build a pipeline much like Sable Trail through Kentucky. There was massive opposition, and a Kentucky judge says, no, Kentucky eminent domain. They canceled it. Even Sable Trail, even Mighty Spectre Energy, which I learned this from John McConnell last year after asking for three months, Spectre, uh, excuse me, FERC has actually denied two pipeline permits. That's not very many, but one of them was proposed by Spectre. So even Mighty Spectra can lose, even at FERC, or in a legal hearing in Florida, or for a compressor station in Florida or Georgia. And in less than 10 years, when most of the power, if not all, for the electrical grid in the U.S. is coming from sun, wind, and water, the companies still pushing fossil fuels in the year 2015, and those who are aiding and abetting them, will be seen by the people not so far in the future as like the tobacco company executives still pushing cigarettes to children when they knew full well they caused cancer. FERC, I'm talking to the commissioners here, I say once again it's nothing personal. I know you're all well-meaning and hardworking. It's the process that is completely broken. So I say to the FERC commissioners, 
You like those tobacco executives that got hauled before Congress and lied through their teeth. If you don't want to be remembered on the wrong side of history, do the right thing and deny this pipeline. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Corbin. Is there anybody else who's spoken previously like to speak again? It's Ms. Johnson.